What kind of render passes are you giving yourself before you make the jump into 2D? I am doing a, well, I'm just doing the main render from Octane and I use PMC, which is the slightly, I think this is the best, uh, the best, I guess, lighting algorithm to use because there's direct li lighting, there's path tracing, and then there's PMC. So I do like a PMC render and then I do a ambient occlusion render, which I just use to, uh, to create some extra paint and some extra shadows that don't always appear in the regular renders. And then I do a uh, Z depth pass, of course, to be able to paint in fog more easily. And then I use a normal, like vertex normal pass. I can actually show you the channels that I can do it here because these render quite fast. So this one, which is the ambient occlusion, and I, I usually turn up the AO distance here to the max. This is kind of like, you can see like how far the shadow spreads. I just crank it up all the way so that it's like next level uh, ambient occlusion because all I want here is some some rendered shadow detail that the regular render doesn't provide me in case I want more shadowing. But I don't I don't use that much of it. Like I'll also shadow stuff manually in Photoshop, but it's it's good to have. Then Z depth is right here. So this one, yeah, obviously it just makes it very easy to integrate fog um, into the piece. You can see uh, you have to play with the settings here that you like so that there's enough contrast. I try to put the closest point to almost black and the furthest point in the scene to almost white. So I don't have to crush the contrast in Photoshop to get that range, you know. And then uh, Vertex Normal. This one is super handy. Like this is actually, I think the most useful one because it gives you a different color for each plane based on the normal. So if I want to paint, let's, you can already see it here, all the pink stuff are the facades that would catch sunlight. So if I want to paint sunlight, instead of selecting manually in Photoshop, I just select this pink layer and I can just, with a huge brush, just paint in. So that's really great. Um, so this one is the, the most useful one, I would say. And yeah, that's it. Those four, that's all I use actually.